So at one point in time in my life, I was a teacher, right? I was going through the training to be a teacher. And the thing that I really didn't take to the best was the model that they say, I do, we do, then you do. Because I struggled sometimes following somebody else's leadership and getting clear in what I was supposed to be doing based on how they were doing it. What am I saying? Today we're diving in, talking about how you can find your mentors and then ultimately how this can propel you to the next level. All right, let's go ahead and get into the episode. Welcome to Young Podcast. Really quick, I want to kick this thing off talking a little bit about podcast news. I was just doing a little bit of research because I like to research podcasting stuff. And did you know the artist, Two Chains, has started a podcast with his six year old son? Two Chains started a podcast with his six year old son. What? So, him and his son, Halo, they, they kicked off a podcast um, so that he can show how versed he is just outside of being a musician but also getting to really shine a spotlight on him uh, being a dope dad, which I think is really amazing. Other podcast news, Martha Stewart has kicked off her podcast. She's going to have on different a- athletes, different entertainers, other celebrities just to you know have on the show. And then I've been watching this other podcast as of late, um, Byron Scott. Byron Scott has a podcast. Right. Been checking that out. He's a former NBA coach, former NBA uh, champion. Uh, But it's just really interesting to watch the tide really shift into the podcasting community. Podcasting is set to grow by 2028 as a hundred billion dollar industry. So if you've invested 500 million up until this point, you're positioning yourself to be the front runner for when the tide does shift. And then when more people dive into podcasting, now you've already been the leader and now you're just in a spot to where you can recoup and capitalize. With that being said, I want to let you all know if you have not grabbed your free copy of my best-selling book, Get Paid with Podcasting, I want you to go ahead and click the link down in the show notes so you can get your free copy. I just ask that you help me with shipping. But it's right here, Get Paid with Podcasting, the blueprint for speakers, coaches, and consultants learning how to manage, how to monetize, how to market your podcast, all right? So go ahead, do that. But now what I want to talk about today, right? Let's dive into the topic. And I want to unpack for a second mentors. Yep, yep, yep. I want to unpack mentors. And let's define what that means. What is a mentor? What is a mentor? The way mentor is defined, it's defined as an experienced and trusted advisor. Advise or train someone, especially a younger colleague, right? The example said both trainees were expertly mentored by a site supervisor. So a mentor is an experienced and trusted advisor. John, why are we breaking down the definition of mentor today? How is this relevant? I want you to ask yourself, who are your mentors? Just think about it for a second, right? Who are, who are the people who have stock in your life? Who are the people who have stock in the decisions that you're making, right? You ask somebody a question, they give you insight, and then you go and do what they say because you're like, this person is my mentor. So I want you to think for a second, pause. You know, if you're in the car, then don't pause, right? Just keep driving. But if you're in the privacy of your home or you're on a flight, like jot on a piece of paper, open the notes tab, and I want you to jot down who are three mentors that you have. And the reason I want us to jot that down is because if we don't identify who has poured into us, who has helped us navigate through certain areas, certain pitfalls, certain situations, then when we get to that fork in the road, 
we're not going to have somebody to call or we're not going to have a place to reference. Okay, prime example. If somebody's like, John, who are your mentors? One for me would be my, my coach, my business coach, Words Taylor. Because Words has helped me understand how to really launch a product, how to launch a program by being a part of his community, which is called Dream Builder Nation. Right? So shout out to my coach, Words Taylor, um, because before working with him, I was struggling to sell products. I actually had one sale. But then after working with him, I've had my most profitable quarter to date. So Words is somebody who I've seen him. I've seen him work with Eric Thomas. I've seen him work with uh, Him500 and David Shands. These are other people that he's helped launch and help them have a level of success. So that's one of my mentors. My second mentor, he, his name would be David Shands. And David Shands, has, uh, he's, he's branded on social media as the podcast king. And David is one of my mentors because I'm a part of his community called The Morning Meetup. And The Morning Meetup is a call we hop on every day, Monday through Friday. And he breaks down different topics or he brings on guests to break down different topics. He's my mentor because he's the one who told me, John, you should just help people start podcasts. You should just show people how and start how to start podcasts and just start there. So I heard him say that. I apply that information. And then that's when I began to really tap in and to really pull right there. So those are two of my mentors. And then the last one I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave open for you all. I'm going to leave open because for me, I've taken time and I've studied some individuals, right? I've taken time and I've really gone in and watched other podcasters, watched other hosts, taken time to see what are these people doing? What are they talking about? What are they breaking down? How can I learn more from them? So look, I'm going to play this clip. And then after the clip, we're going to come back. And then I'm going to further unpack who you should study, and how you should go about doing it. So ch check out this clip here. If you had to like dissect my game, <laughs> you know, in the comedy, Richard Pryor. Oh yeah. I, from Richard Pryor, I, I learned my, my, my characters and you know, how to do stories kind of stuff. Then um, my m more raw and sort of like, you know, my real personality is my Eddie Murphy influence from him. Mm -hmm. And then my, my storytelling came from Bill Cosby oh, because wow. Bill Cosby was one of the first guys that I ever seen sit down doing stand up. Right. I was just like, how you just sit down and just start <laughs> talking? So the reason I wanted to just show that clip is because you see that Bill Bellamy is able to identify who have been some pivotal mentors in his life. Right. From, you know, from Robin Williams to just like you said, a little bit of Eddie Murphy, a little bit of Bill Cosby. So when you began to identify your mentors, people will begin to identify some things that you took from them, learned from them, extracted, wherever it may be. But if you don't take time to watch other people, don't take time to learn from other people, don't take time to get other people's books and read, then how can you grow if you only are in the space of pulling from your own personal experience. All right, so I wanted to share that, but then also I wanted to make sure that we all know, right? First and foremost, we need to identify our mentors, identify our mentors. Secondly, we need to make sure that we identify the areas that we have that are gaps either in our life or in our business. And when we begin to identify those gaps, then we say, oh, okay, that's why this mentor plugs in here. Bill Bellamy said, oh, I love to hear the way that uh, the way that Robin Williams provided energy. Right. Then he came over here and was like, oh, I love the way that he broke down stories. Right. So you see he's identifying certain pieces into his life. So I want you to identify where are the gaps that are in your business. Right. Is it storytelling? Is it sales? Is it personal development, and then begin to find mentors. If it be on YouTube, if it be in coaching communities, wherever it might be. So the, the fact of the matter is this, when you have mentors, then ultimately you're in the position of a mentee.
But as you begin to learn more, you begin to grow more. Now you're in the spot to where you can pour into others and you become somebody else's mentor. You see? What am I saying? As a mentor, you watch somebody else do something. You do it with them. And then later you do it by yourself. And then you continue to replicate the process. Today, the episode was all about helping you find your mentors. As you find your mentors, as you hone in on what you need in your business, then you'll be able to grow. And then from you being able to grow, you'll be able to show somebody how to do the exact same thing. Family, one more time, if you have not grabbed your copy of the Get Paid with Podcasting uh, book, get your physical copy while supplies last. We'll put the link down in the show notes. Uh, for you but family until next time it's your podcast mentor jonathan jones where we help you here right establish your platform so that you can profit on purpose from your podcast all right peace and god bless